You know who's a great guy? Mike Carparelli. If you go to carparelliguitars.com, he'll send you some of the best guitar components money can buy. Or he'll build you an absolute soulmate of a guitar. I play a Carparelli. You should too. You know what's maddening? When you just want a drum track that sounds the way you want it and suits the song and it's the song you want to play and you're trying to jam with your beat buddy and you just don't have the right one. So you just decide, I'm going to do this myself. And then you get into it and you realize what a rabbit hole that is. Uh, And there definitely is a learning curve. However, uh, today we're going to look at a method to create your own drum loops for your Beat Buddy that you can put into your Beat Buddy pedal. And it is using uh, the drummer AI track kind of thing that comes with GarageBand and or Logic. It'll save you some of the trouble of creating the MIDI as you know it. And um, well, anyway, you'll get it. So that's the plan. There are a few steps involved. And I separated the videos for Logic and GarageBand because they are a little bit different. So if you're using Logic, find the Logic one and follow that. If you're using GarageBand, you are in the right place. Logic makes the process a little bit easier, but more people have GarageBand because it comes with your computer and you can use both. All right, so let's get into it immediately. I want you to have this video for free, but if you've got two or three bucks lying around and you can kick them over here, it helps me take time from my real job and do more of this. So find the link below, go to PayPal, select only the least of what you can afford, and just know that I'd really appreciate it. All right, as you can see, I have GarageBand open and I am ready to go. I'm gonna create an empty project. And the first thing we're going to do before we get into the drummer track is I'm going to bring a song into here. Now, I've written a very short original instrumental piece we're going to use to facilitate this lesson. And um, what I'm going to do is open an audio track and then drag the MP3 into it directly from Finder. And this song I called Headspace for no particular reason, just because, I don't know came to me that way. All right, let's take a quick little listen to this just to see where we're heading with this. Okay, that's basically it. And then there's a bridge section in there and a verse and a chorus change. We don't need to listen to the whole thing because you're going to hear it a few times, but you get the general idea. Now, Assuming this is uh, perhaps a recording you have made of your own song, and assuming the recording is all in time and everything like that, or it's uh, a cover song you would like to make a drum beat for. Same idea. All right, what we're going to do next is create an arrangement by using the arrangement markers available to us, and that's going to help us a little later, so let's just get into it and you'll see how that works. We're going to go up to track here and hit show arrangement track. And you'll see these arrangement markers appear here. Get a little more space there. You're just gonna click the plus sign. That's our intro. And it will keep adding sections. And you wanna draw these out as long as the sections you would like it to be. And assuming this is for the verse and there's a change coming up, which we'll call the chorus, cause it's like a chorus. Okay, and there it is on the 11th bar. And we'll call this one chorus just for fun. Let's make sure that's lining up correctly. Okay, once you have the arrangement lined up, then you're ready to make your drummer track. The reason we do the arrangement first is because the drummer AI is going to set the drum sections according to our arrangement. So it's taking care of that step for us. So let's go ahead and create that drummer track. We're gonna hit plus up here in the corner. And then we have these drummer tracks that we can choose. And voila, uh, the computer has done a lot of the work for us. 
Now you'll notice that this looks like an analog track uh, because that's kind of what it is. But this is not fixed in stone. You can manipulate it ad infinitum, really. There's lots of choices. So the first thing you can do is choose one of these personalities here that they set, and they're, I, I guess, supposed to mimic different drummers. And so if you go ahead and play it, oh, I just realized why it sounds weird, because <laughs> the timing is off, because it's supposed to be 108 uh, beats per minute. Okay, now that I've set the tempo, that's important. We want to, this will adju adjust automatically to tempo changes. All right, let's try that again. That guy's in the wrong band. Let's try Darcy. She looks cool. All right. I think we found a winner. That sounds pretty good so far. So you just want to start by choosing one that's getting close to where you'd like your song to go. Now, once you have that, you can highlight these drum sections, and then you have more fine tuning you can do. So if you look down here at this tool here, you can see you have lots of options. You can use this slider to make it loud, simple, soft, complex, and it will just change the beat as you go through it. So I'm just going to set the loop up here. Where am I going with that? There we go. I'm just going to let that play and then use the automations as it goes through and then stop it when I like it. Right, so you get the idea of that pretty quickly. Now you can make further changes. You can switch from the hi-hat to this, the ride cymbal. You can take the snare out for a breakdown. You can add auxiliary drums like a tambourine, etc. And then you can adjust the levels on those as well. You can ramp up the fills and it will add more fills for you. And you can even swing the beat. For different parts of the song. The other thing you can do is these presets here which will change the variation for you. All right, but you get the point. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple for the beginning. But now you can see that uh, we have a drummer that does what they're told, right? <laughs> Sorry, did I say that out loud? I love you, drummers. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on. We got the right idea. So now we have a chorus part, and we might want to change the variation here. But because it's called chorus, the drummer AI has already done some of the work for us. And you'll notice the instrumentation has changed over here. We've moved to the cymbals, the ride cymbal, and we've added a tambourine. I don't think I want a tambourine in this part of the song. And it's gotten a little louder, so you can monitor those things. I'm going to keep it there. And we'll just listen to the transition, because we have a bit of a fill going from the verse to the chorus. The symbols are doing a little too much work there. I'm going to turn those down a bit. And I'm actually going to tone down the complexity a bit. I think it's a bit overbearing.
We're going to go to different parts of the song and keep making the adjustments. Okay, for this bridge part of the song, I would like it to be quite broken down. So I'm going to make it simple and soft. Take the snare out. Take the maraca out. Turn the fills right down. Okay, you get the idea. Um, just going to make some changes here to this one. Not sure that I like it for this bridge part. Okay, that's pretty good, and we'll just deal with the outro here. I'm gonna make that very simple again. Take those out, take that out, leave that like that. Okay, for the sake of argument, let's assume that we have decided that that's our final mix and it's uh, exactly how we would like them to be. Just keep in mind, nothing you have decided here is totally fixed in stone. Just keep in mind from this point, even though you've decided you like it, nothing is fixed in stone. You can come back and fix things. Our next step is to change this to MIDI, and then we can actually make changes to the MIDI notes if there are particular parts of the song we would like to change. So let's go on to that step.